guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching today's video uh so today i am bringing you another diy and i am extremely nervous to show you how this turned out because it is an art piece that i painted so i don't know what you guys are going to think of it but i absolutely like the way it turned out so if you guys did watch my previous video i did mention that i wanted to start decorating my toilet room and so that's what i'm going to be using this canvas art for. That's where I'll be placing it. And also one of the uh, decor pieces that I purchased from Home Goods. That was also on the Home Goods haul, which is the previous video. In case you missed it, I'll link it up here so you wouldn't miss out. And so that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I'll take you along through every single step that I did and how I transformed this canvas art. And the reason I'm saying transform is because I am using an old art, uh, what is it? It's an old canvas art or an art canvas piece that I had in my previous home. So I didn't want to purchase a new one because I did go to Michael's and for this type of size, it ranged between 60 to $80. So I was just trying to save myself a few bucks. So I just um, bought a white spray can, covered it completely in white, and then it was like a brand new piece. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I can't wait to show you guys how my toilet room looks like now. It is now decorated and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys do too, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe. And so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so all I'm using here is a white spray can, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and coat this uh, canvas art evenly until I see completely no color, and it's completely covered in white. It did take two layers. So I did the first one and then waited about two hours for it to dry when I started the second layer. And so um, that's what I did to completely cover the old painting. So here I'm just bringing it down on the floor because I'm going to be adding some texture and I'm using this texture Isaiah paste from the Home Depot and so uh, there is one that is pink as you apply it and then it turns white this one is just the regular one it's just white so what I did here is just threw paste here and there and just randomly started smearing left and right up and down there's no right or right way to do this um, it just depends on what you want. I just wanted this to be extremely texturized and bumpy. So um, I just did this. I just went up and down, added this here and there. And uh, wherever I thought I needed more, then I just went ahead and added more. So I just set it to the side, allow it to dry. It did take about four hours for it to be completely dry. So now I am starting with a gray spray can. And at first I kind of wanted to freestyle this, but I really had no idea how I wanted it to be or what design I wanted. I just wanted something gray with white and a little bit of black, just a little bit of black since I already had a black uh, decor piece in that bathroom. I didn't want too much black in there. So um, I basically just started adding gray here and decided to add a little bit more and then decided to completely cover it in gray. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just doing some strokes. I'm not getting too close to it because I don't want those dark, sharp lines of gray to show. So um, basically that's just what I'm doing here. And then I just went ahead and grabbed my paintbrush with this black paint that I purchased. And as you can see here, I was very hesitant. I was nervous to start. I didn't know where to start. I wasn't even know what I was doing. So I kind of took some time away and Googled a few images and I found one that I really liked and so I was going to try to do the same thing. Of course, it didn't turn out the same, but you guys kind of get the idea here. I'll show you a picture in a minute of what I wanted this painting to look like.
so I finally decided to start adding the black and so I started in this corner here and just gave it strokes left and right and really like I said I had no idea what I was doing I just started adding black and so I kind of started liking the way it was looking and I just gave it strokes up and down side to side and added black here and there
up so I can kind of get that dripping effect on some of them. And uh, we're going to allow this to dry overnight and then we'll see how it looks tomorrow. So here it is. I allowed this to dry overnight and it is completely dry now and I am loving the way this turned out. I really like those little details of the paint droplets all over the place and I think it has enough black. I didn't want too much on here. I wanted to keep it more gray and white and I can't wait to put it up in my toilet room and show you guys how it looks like. Take you guys into my bathroom and here is just a little tour of my messy bathroom so um basically i have to do some organization here with this decor these are just the new pieces that i brought and then i will also be doing a diy on this um art right here i want to do something different more neutral just maybe a lot of the gray and gold and maybe some like silver and black tones and um, i actually need to clean this I'll probably do like a cleaning video because when I see that, make sure you guys comment down below and let me know. And so here is the painting that I did. I mean, I think it looks great. I didn't want too much black because I already have this um, very bold black decor piece that I showed you guys from my home goods haul. So. I wanted to keep this a little bit more neutral, but with a little bit of black, and I think it's just enough. I really like the way the detail came out on here. I'll turn on the light. I'll probably make it look a little bit warmer with the light, but I like this detail on here, how uh, the black, it's just like basically, you know, splattered everywhere and it drips down. Um, I think that came out pretty neat. I mean, like I said, I had no idea what I was doing, so I just... Um, went with the flow and just went along with it, but I mean, I think it turned out great. It, it looks like an expensive art piece, doesn't it? I mean, it's something that definitely looks like I purchased from like Home Goods or like a place like that. And um, yeah, like I said, this is my bathroom. This is the toilet room. So there's really nothing else in here but the toilet and then these two beautiful art pieces that I am in love with. And I love the way this project turned out. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so thanks for watching and coming along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and I hope you guys liked my little piece of art here. I mean, I definitely like it. I think it looks great and um, I'm in love with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos.